Hi guys! So this is the roller coaster ride to recovery. I'm gonna go over three different episodes that I had that took me from being good to almost back to square one. So it's going to be the ladder climb, the sneeze, and the aerobic disaster. So first, me climbing the ladder. That in itself, I know hindsight, you know, it sounds so ridiculous, but um, after a week of treatments, I started to feel better. I started to walk for 15 minutes a day, and uh, I was getting a little stir crazy here. Um, so I wanted to do a project. Those who knows me, love I love projects and I wanted to get something from the attic. Now, I wasn't gonna carry the box down, but I was crawling my way up. And then also later that day, I accidentally cracked my back while standing, which is a big no-no. Um, so I didn't feel anything that night, but when I woke up, I was in so much pain. It, I, I was so hypersensitive that just putting a sock on my foot was excruciating. I couldn't even reach my foot at this point. I had to have my mom help me. I was yelling the way through it. We had an appointment to go to the chiropractor that day and obviously I still wanted to go. The pain level kept growing and growing and growing as the day was progressing. So we got myself into the car I was yelling and what happened was you don't realize this unless you're in pain especially the hypersensitive hypersensitive that I was was when the car engine turned on the the whole car vibrates and it was just basically a full body aggravation and I was yelling at the top of my lungs nonstop. It hurt to breathe, it hurt to yell. I was kind of like twitching in the back seat. And and we were trying to push through to see if I could make it to Doc so he can help me because this was horrible, but we did not make it. After 10 minutes, I was like crying and I had to turn around. I dove on the bed, screaming, yelling, and uh, you know how sometimes you stub your toe and the, from that pain you run. Well, that's the kind of physical reaction I was getting. From my pain, I couldn't stop at, like squirming, which caused more pain. The pain made me yell, which caused more pain from using the muscles in my body to just force that air out. So that went on uh, for about 45 minutes. And I was just, I was yelling, I was praying, I was asking forgiveness, like why did, I, I'm sorry, whatever I did to deserve this. I felt so bad for my mom because she couldn't, she just felt helpless. I mean, we both felt helpless. There was nothing that we could do at that point. So it, so after 45 minutes, I started, the, started finally being able to calm down. And then it wasn't until about two hours later where I felt a sneeze coming on. And normally I could prep myself really quickly uh, that there's more of a like a notice but this one caught me off guard I went to turn turn around but it caught me in a back arch which is like the worst because that's where my herniation is protruding this way and the sneeze made me basically do that I was in so much pain I've never had the pain that I had before and this one was even worse. It hurt so much where no sound came out of my mouth. So I was literally stuck. My whole body was like frozen like this. I had my, I was gripping the headboard and I was like, it felt, it felt like five minutes. It probably wasn't. And then the whole vicious cycle came again. I was squirming, I, squirming which caused me pain yelling which caused me pain and I felt horrible not just from the pain but just that my mom had a witness that I mean she started crying because she felt like a horrible nurse because there's nothing you can do at that point so it was another 45 minutes for my body to calm down and I was like I am not moving a muscle 
for the rest of the day. So we saw a major setback in, treat in treatment wise because the day before on the Lordex machine that pulled me, I was able to withstand 118 pounds and now I was down to 80 pounds with tears because it hurt so bad for that traction on my spine. It took two weeks of treatment to get me back on crutches again. Thankfully, just in time for Christmas and New Year's. And then once January, around January 1st came, uh, something awesome happened. I don't know, I don't even know why, overnight, I went from standing 10 minutes a day till the next morning with a little pain, you know, pushing through some pain, um, two hours a day. And then I had treatment and I got to stand two hours after that. I was just so elated. And then, you know, I got physical therapy instructions to do at home. Every day I was getting better. I was walking. I was, uh, one day I got up to 12,000 steps because, you know, I'm focused on getting better so I can get back to work and uh, really just get my life back. You know, my, my legs weren't used to being vertical. Like my knees hurt, my feet hurt, you know, the gravity. I wasn't used to it. So I was determined to work my little butt off. And then the next step was um, to do step ups uh, to gain my muscles back in my glutes to help support my spine. And my mom had an aerobic stepper. So I was like, awesome, I'll kill two birds with one stone and I'll just do my cardio and I get my steps in on the stepper. I was so used to pushing myself at the gym, you know, no pain, no gain, that I did 40 minutes on the stepper which hindsight now I know is so ridiculous for someone who is just getting back into exercising. So I noticed the pain started to go down my leg and I was like, oh, I need to get ice, but I'm so disgustingly sweaty, I wanna shower. So I took a hot shower, bad idea. The hot shower, the heat just grew the inflammation and made my whole leg feel on fire. I ran out of the shower collapsed onto the bed yelling again luckily and meanwhile I'm off pain medication at this time so luckily it was only like a six seven pain but it was like oh no here we go again had to have my mom help dress me and took like we religiously ice packed my back for like the next four hours like you know on and off on and off till finally I was able to get back on crutches, but only five to 10 minutes a day again. So I was in that crutches, five, 10 minutes state for about another week. And it wasn't only till this past week that I started to be able to stand again, which is exciting. And um, sitting is still slightly painful. And we're introducing driving short distances because it's a little painful. You know, the pains in my right leg, it's your driving leg. So, but overall, I just know to be extra, extra cautious. And even though I'm feeling good, I still need to very robotically move and take care of my body. So hopefully the next video is just more improvements and no more dips. I hope, hope I learned my lesson. So if you made it through the video this far, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.